My name's Kyle. And my name's Chrissy. And we're both printmakers. You're a painter. We run Sparkbox. And we, and we make, make things. things. Our main focus is our artist residency program. And with our artist residency program, we invite people to come to our home and live with us and they get studio spaces and access to the print shop and they can research or focus on a project that they need to get done and enjoy kind of just being away and have that time and space to explore their own creative practice that I think a lot of creatives struggle with in their day-to-day -day life so they don't have to clean the house and answer their emails and deal with friends and family, they can just completely immerse themselves in whatever process they're working on. I went to Queen's University and I did fine art studio there and I focused mostly on painting. I feel like in my heart I'm a painter, uh, but I sometimes needed a break from being in front of a canvas that was sort of saying, what are you going to do next? And printmaking was like a beautiful avenue away from that because I could work on the steps and the steps could sort of take me away from worrying about the end product. My practice is primarily printmaking and within that I focus on screen print and I focus on letterpress and on etching and relief printing. My practice is rooted in digital collage. All of my work kind of starts within Photoshop because I absolutely love digital composition. And then from that composition, I then transition into one of the different mediums, depending on what the goal of that print is. So I, I feel like this is something that doesn't get talked often about, is that like from the outside, it looks very, you might look at a business or somebody doing something really magical and be like, they have it made. Mm -hmm. But then on the other side of the fence, I think everybody, especially people where they run their own businesses, have a lot of anxiety. And I think that it's okay to have those anxieties. Well, I think that the anxieties are, can be very useful. I think if everything was super straightforward and easy, um, the, the decisions that we've had to make over the course of Sparkbox, I think some of the best choices that we've made have come out of like a real sticky, unfortunate situation. And when we get stressed out and a little bit unsure of what we're doing and feel like that imposter syndrome that I, I know I've talked to so many people about, then we kind of pivot and find a way to like really embrace that and then use it to fuel our, our business further and then to have those conversations with the residents that are here. And what you were saying before about us both feeling like, oh my gosh, we're not making anything, so we're not artists anymore, was it really was hard for a long time for both of us to feel like we weren't contributing physical things for a long time and not seeing any of the things that we were contributing through Sparkbox as valuable. And it wasn't really until a really dear friend of ours, Jenny Suddick, introduced us to a class of hers at OCAD where she talked about Sparkbox as our practice and that us as humans that are building a creative space, like that our practice is about building creativity and fostering creativity and connecting people together. And I think the whole car ride home, we were like, holy shit, <laughs> how did we not, am I allowed to say shit? Okay. <laughs> um, like, holy shit, how did we not think about that or see Sparkbox in that light? It was, that was a real eye opener. I think that Sparkbox ultimately is a space where people come and they live together, they work together, they research and they make, and they leave hopefully inspired and excited. And as like a group of people in one building, we encourage each other to keep believing in the practice that they're creating, either painting or printmaking, drawing, film, sculpture, music, it doesn't matter to us. Whatever kind of maker you are, we want to support you.